I know, Mikey. I'm so proud of you, too. You were doing such great sounding out on the words that we were working on earlier. And you know what? I'm so proud of you for sticking with it. What? Oh, my gosh. Hi, guys. Are you back? I am so glad you are. I was just telling my little monkey here what a great job he has done to really improve his reading. Yesterday, after we read chapter ten, uh, chapter 9, he was asking me all of these questions about the plot and about our main characters because he's really been listening. I didn't know he was, but he's really been listening. And now that he feels a little bit more successful with his reading and his listening skills, He's really kind of excited about reading now because I know it's hard to be excited about things if you're not very good at them. I understand that. I'm not very excited to ride a bowl because I'm not, I wouldn't be very good at that. I didn't practice it ever. Sometimes when you don't practice things and you have to do them, it gets tricky. But guess what? That's right. Did you guys hear that? Little monkey said practice makes perfect. So if you keep reading and you keep practicing, you might be perfect at it. Okay, tonight is chapter 10. Remember, I asked this chapter as a question because I was not really sure about it. It says, football players are dumb. I didn't see the question mark, but I would hate to call all football players dumb. I mean, I would hate to call anybody dumb. So... You know, in this My Weird School, they do a lot of weird things. So I'm going to make the, the, the public service announcement that we shouldn't call anybody dumb. But let's see what they're talking about because, because we need to. And I'm so excited. And I've got to keep Little Monkey here reading. So are you ready to get started? Remember, don't yell. It hurts Little Monkey's ears. He's trying to get ready for bed, too. Okay, so let's get started. We're on chapter 10. Miss Daisy is crazy. And another big thank you, uh, Mr. Dan Gutman. We're loving this book. I can't re wait to read another one. Okay, let's get started. Chapter 10. Football players are really dumb. I don't know. Boys and girls, today we have a very special and famous guest, Miss Daisy said. His name is Boomer Wiggins. Wow. Was the first thing everybody said. Who's he? Was the second thing everybody said. But I knew who Boomer Wiggins was because Boomer Wiggins was my hero. He was the quarterback of my favorite football team, the Chargers. Wow, a real football player right in our classroom. Miss Daisy told us that Boomer Boomer Wiggins had a daughter in fourth grade, and that's why he was spending the day at our school. When Boomer Wiggins walked into the class. Everybody gasped. We hear you gasp. <gasps> Good job. He was really big and had so many muscles that they poked right against his shirt. Mine, mine, mine do that too. <gasps> we all crowded around him and Boomer let us feel his arm muscles. I couldn't even get my hands around him. That's when Boomer picked up Emily with one hand. Wow. I just muscles through his shirt. He is strong. He was amazing. Then he gave each of us a little plastic football and he signed his name on each one. Does anybody have any questions? Boomer asked. Do you like knocking guys on their butts? I asked. Everybody laughed, even though I didn't say anything that was funny. Miss Daisy said it was butt, not butt. Because a person only has one butt. That makes sense. But I said a butt was divided into two halves. So it really could be butts. <laughs> Miss Daisy said that was enough of that talk. I said she couldn't be complaining. She shouldn't be complaining because she was the one that started it. I don't like knocking people down, Boomer told us, but sometimes we have to do it because it's a part of the game. Mr. Wiggins, asked Miss Daisy, is it true that football players are really dumb? She, did she just ask that? She, she 
Kardashian is crazy. Oh my gosh, you're a little rude. We all gasped. Let me hear you gasp again. <gasps> I was afraid Boomer Wiggins might knock Miss Daisy on her butt. Good point. I excuse me? Boomer said like he wasn't sure if he had heard the question. Well, somebody once told me that if you play football, you don't have to know how to read or write or do arithmetic or go to school. She you know who told her that? AJ, the main character. He said when he wanted to grow up, he was going to be a football player because that's what he heard and people would read to him. Good call, Miss Daisy. Now he's going to get the answer to that question. I wonder if it's true. Let's see. Who told you that? Boomer asked Miss Daisy. Everybody looked at me. I slid down so that my head was almost under a desk and I hid behind my notebook. Oh, a good friend of mine told me, Miss Daisy said. Is it true? If I didn't go to school, I never could have become a football player, Boomer told us. I have to read and study my playbook very carefully. I have to write letters to my fans. Every week I have to study very hard to get ready for the next game. Did you go to college? asked Miss Daisy. Yes, Boomer said. And when my football career is over, I plan to go back to school so I can become a doctor. Wow. I said, I want to go to college someday so I can become a doctor and knock guys on their butts. I mean, but everybody laughed, even though I didn't say anything funny. Then to prove how smart he was, Boomer Wiggins read us a book and passed out bookmarks that said, achieve your goal by reading. Miss Daisy said that even though Boomer read the book to us, we could still add 52 pages to the total number of pages we've read. The temperature level on the thermometer in the hallway kept getting higher and higher. Oh, they're going to get to their goal. They're going to get to the million pages. And look, we're so close to figuring out what's going on. Chapter 11. Tomorrow night, can you wait? I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. I don't know if I can either. What's that? You're going to have to wait, little monkey. I know you're excited. I know you're excited. And Lammy's really been enjoying this, too. I'm so happy that you guys came over. It's really making all of my animal friends here a little bit more comfortable with people coming over to the house. I know right now we're trying to stay away from people, but this is such a great way for you guys to come over and 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 get and and introduce yourself to my my animals. Well, thanks for coming over again. And remember, to be a football player, you do have to learn how to read and write. All right, join us tomorrow as we get into chapter 11. We rule the school. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what happens. Okay, tune in tomorrow night. Bye, good night. Good night to you. Oh, I know, I'm tired too. I'm going right to bed. All right, night night. See you tomorrow.